Hello students, well today we are going to study about Shakutri and under Shakutri we will talk about sausages today. So first we will talk about the brief history about Shakutri. What is Shakutri actually? Shakutri is the art of transforming pork into various other products and it is derived from the word shar and quit and it literally means cooked meat. Well Shakutri was originated in 1500 BC and during that time Romans enjoyed pork products that were often flavored with pine nuts, black pepper and bay leaf. And in the 16th century, the Shakutiers got the legal permission to butcher their own pigs and sell both raw and cooked pork products. So after that, Shakutri has come a long way. No longer is it limited to just pork product, but instead the word is used in a broader sense to represent a method and style of cooking as well as a manner of serving the food. Shakutri is one of the most versatile and adaptable cooking method. There is no rule regarding Shakutri, only the rule is that you have to use fresh items and fresh meat. So in this video, we are going to talk about sausages, which is also a Shakutri product. The sausage is actually any meat which has been comminuted and seasoned. Comminuted means diced, ground, chopped, emulsifies emulsified and reduced to minute particles or in simple words you can define sausage it is a ground meat which has been salted for preservation and seasoned to taste so now we'll talk about the different types of sausages that are available commercially in the market we have fresh sausages in fresh sauces the meat is not cured neither it is smoked and the meat is ground, chopped, diced and seasoned and then it is put inside the casing. Bockwurst is the example of fresh sausage. Then we have cooked sausage. In cooked sausage, the meat is uncured. The meat are ground, seasoned and stuffed into the casing. Borswiger is the example of cooked sausage. See the name of the sausage will tell you what you have to do with the meat. Like here cooked smoked sausage. That means the meat will be cooked and it will be smoked also and that will be stuffed inside the casing. So cooked smoked sausage is made from cured meat and then uncooked smoked sausage. They are made from cured or uncured meat. The meat is ground, seasoned and stuffed into the casing. The sausage is smoked but not cooked. So if you just Remember the name of the sausage, you can define that sausage in your own words. Now we have dry or semi-dry sauces. These are made from cured meats which are ground, seasoned and stuffed into the casing. Well, these type of sausages are also known as salamis. And the salamis are actually may or may not be smoked before drying. And salamis are always dried. And there are different varieties of salamis like German salami, Italian salami, Lebanon, Bologna, pepperoni, which we'll talk about them in detail in our video. Now the sausage have got three primary components. One is meat ingredient. Then we have non-meat ingredient. And both these items are stuffed inside the casing. Now there are different components types of meat can be used for making sausages now traditionally the meat component has got four part the meat that is the primary ingredient then in the meat we add binding agent seasoning flavoring and garnish and finally the additive is added so the meat component compromises of lean meat which is 40 percent then we have pork fat that is 30 percent then variety of meats which includes offals, heart, kidney, tripe, liver and tongue that also contributes 30 percent. So 40 plus 30 plus 30 is equal to 100 and that is the meat component. So as I said force meat has four composition. So meat is one of them. Then non-meat component. Well not mean item are actually added to enhance the flavor and color of the meat and this they also prevent bacteria growth and increases the shelf life of the meat there are six types of additives water curing agent curing accelerator sensory enhancer stability enhancer and we have extenders and binders 
now we'll talk about the different types of casing that are used and casing actually can be natural or it can be man made which is manufactured in the factory we put force meat inside the casing and casing give each sausage its size shape and color some casings are edible as they are natural while man made casings are non edible which are generally peeled before eating so natural casing actually we get from the animals and the intestine of the animals is used if the intestine is big then it is cut into uniform sizes and then accordingly the force meat is stuffed inside the casing now we have collagen casing that is manufactured casing these type of casings are edible as they are not synthetic they are made from collagen and the flesh side of the hide is used for the collagen casing this casing also have superior match quality and they take on the smoke color quickly then we have fibrous cellulose these are actually the by product of the food processing industry cellulose and fiber is used for making this type of casing fiber actually gives the strength and casing is generally peeled from the finished product it is not edible then fibrous cellulose casing these are also not edible fiber runs the length of the casing to increase its strength and used mainly for dry or semi dry sausages like salamis then we have plastic casing they are popular in the commercial sector they because they are cheaper stronger and uniform in size and there is no need to remove them directly they can be served then one more important casing is there that is called fat casing and it is actually a thin membrane which surrounds the stomach of the hog and it is network like a spider web as you can see in the picture and call fat is actually the excellent for wrapping items for irregular size of sausage and generally this type of casing is used for making flat sausage now we'll talk about some best known sausages from the world we have bockwurst it is a german white sausage made up of pork veal then we have bratwurst it is german sausage made up of minced pork veal and then it is spiced german is actually very famous for sausages most of the world famous sausages are from germany then we have pepperoni it is an italian sausage made up of pork and beef borsweger it is a cooked sausage as we studied earlier also made up of pork liver and joel fat and it is seasoned with all spice cloves ginger mustard and other spices and generally they are smoked after cook the cooking because cooked meat is put inside the casing and then they are smoked then bologna made up of pork and beef and the english uh, type of sausages are called poloni then frankfurters all of you are very much familiar with these sausages it was it was originated in frankfurt germany german sausages made up of pork or beef and vienna sausage is a small cocktail frankfurter frankfurters are generally used for making sauce, uh, sandwiches also then berliners are made from cured coarsely ground pork and beef the only seasoning that is added in those in these sausages is sugar and salt then we have kalbasa it is a polish sausage made from pork and beef and it is highly seasoned and garlic is also added so it has got little garlic flavor then we have metwurst and tewurst both of them are from germany and these are little spreaded sausages they are little loose made up of beef and pork then salami as i said is a highly seasoned dry sausage and they have got fermented flavor and genoa salami is the best example of these type of sausages made up of pork and beef and seasoned with salt peppercorns and sugar now we have cervelle is a mildly seasoned smoked semi dry sausage these type of sausages are also called summer sausages made up of beef and pork and then they are smoked 
they are little wrinkled as you can see the texture is little wrinkled they are not smooth from the surface so that's all about the sausage i will make another more videos about different types of shakutri products as there are many cold preparation like pate terin mousse muslin roulade confit so all these will be covered later in future videos so thank you